it's Lisa with Luna Moth Creations and I am back with another box. Um, I wanted to hurry up and get in another one today since I have like a bunch. Um, if you are new to my channel, hello and welcome. I am Lisa and on my channel I like to do witchy subscription unboxings as well as one self-care subscription box tarot and oracle deck unboxings and reviews. If you are a returning friend, thank you so much for stopping back in. Today we are doing the Witch's Roots for May 2021. Super excited. I have not watched anybody's stuff online, so I'm not even sure what the theme is. So we open it up and we just got our paperwork right on top. Oh my God, it already smells amazing. All right, so the theme is Open Pathways. It said, blind are those that cloud their minds with minuscule and judgmental thoughts, always focusing on those things that never serve them in the best light. It is so common for us to get overwhelmed by the current realities of our world that we easily forget that our psychic sight is yearning to be used. It is within our ability to trust synchronicities and signs from our guides that allow us to open doors of opportunity that were otherwise non-existent. In a world where it is so difficult to see beyond our current concerns, we rely on the intuition we have refined through our practice and ritual. We lean on our undeniable gift of connecting with other realms and noticing small hints and gestures. It is so important that we calm the mind, center the physical body, and ignite the energy surrounding us so that we can find those doors that would have otherwise been locked and sealed forever. The magical items in this box are as follows. So let's start getting things out. Ooh, I know what it's crystal we're gonna get. Um, I almost don't wanna show you guys this. I'll show you these whenever I pull out the actual item because they tell us what our herb is and what our crystal is. And let's do the crystal. So we have a little blue sachet and I have an angel light. Very nice. I have, well, I think my angel light, I have a little uh, tower angel light over there, and then I do have, um, I do have some tumbled angel light. So let me let y'all know it cannot get wet. <laughs> I learned the hard way. I had this little, um, like, fountain, and I put a bunch of crystals in it. And it started eroding my angel light. So just so you know, angel light, the Mohs hardness must be um, not very high because, yeah, it messed up my angel light. So anyways, speaking of angel light, here is our artwork. Love. So I have like a notebook that I put these in and keep all my, um, okay, sorry. It seemed like my lighting was getting crappy. Um, put these all together that way I have like all my crystals together and then like when I have my my herb book of shadows I have another notebook for that so that's always fun all right me here we go let's get our herb because I have the book of shadows on that so we have a rosemary very nice bag of rosemary and then we have our beautiful rosemary book of shadows page how pretty i love these it's um i think it's is it ae albus anyways the person that does these they're gorgeous and i have them on my walls i have them in my books of shadows blah 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 they're everywhere i love them all right so i think we've got an oil let's read i'm gonna read as we go because i'm in a pinch and i gotta go to work <laughs> okay so we have our rosemary um, it's used as one of the oldest forms of incense. Rosemary has been a prominent practitioner's companion through much of the old world. Rosemary is a true guardian and protector, known for its immense ability to cleanse sacred spaces and dwellings, dispelling negative and malevolent energies. This wonderful herb is a must-have in any witch's herbal cabinet, as it can be incorporated in most spells and rituals. Originally native to the Mediterranean, rosemary has found, excuse me, rosemary was found mentioned in stone tablets carved in cuneiform, 
uh, known to be one of the oldest forms of writing in existence. In addition, rosemary was found to be used within burial rituals associated with the ancient Egyptians. You guys know I love Egypt. Um, as well as being a prominent protector, rosemary has the unique ability to dispel surges of depression, allowing the spirit and emotional body to remain light and malleable. It is very... It is this very reason why we have incorporated this herb within this collection. As seekers of knowledge, wisdom, opportunity, beauty, and magic, it is vital that we walk with an open spirit so that our third eye may remain active and aware. As you smell the wonderful fragrance of rosemary or burn it as incense within your sacred space, allow your mind to let up and let go. Unload your judgments and preconceived knowings of the world so that you may give yourself the opportunity to find new solutions, new correspondences, and new opportunities. May you find wisdom in unlikely places guided by your intuition and psychic sight. May you find yourself opening doors that lead to new experiences and deeper understanding. Planetary connection is the sun. Gender is masculine. Elemental association is fire. And speaking of herbs and their association, um, I did create um my i had said this in a previous um in a previous video that i did get my um herb jar labels created they are uploaded on my etsy store if you guys look in the comments below there's a link to my etsy store so if you guys um like to like i like to put things in jars um now this is a very um a different jar than I normally use. I had this jar and I loved it, so I just threw, went ahead and threw my cloves in it. But um, there, this this is one of my labels, but it's cut. <laughs> um, in fact, well, anyways, y'all can take a look if you want to label your stuff. I usually have jars that are like, you know, yay high with a cork and it has like a nice little label on it that I created. So if you guys are interested in that, that's available. One of my people, um, oh gosh, I don't want to say her name wrong. Let me, I'm going to YouTube right now so we can find her because I don't want to give her wrong um, handle. Okay, hold on. Let me go back. I am subscribed to her. How do I figure that out? All right, you guys are gonna sit here and watch me try to figure out this other person that you guys need to watch. <laughs> it's gonna be like the last person I find on here. Do, 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 everybody talk amongst yourselves. Okay, the Witch of Silver Star Forest. I wonder, let's go to her home. Okay guys, this is her. The Witch of Silver Star Forest. If you guys don't already subscribe to her, she is a fellow YouTuber um, and she does witchy subscription boxes. But anyways, my friend, hey girl, she ordered um, my jar labels from me and I thank you so much. But anyways, I wanted to support her too if you guys wanna check out her channel. And um, if I can think about it, I'll put it in the links below to support her as well. So there you go. Okay, moving right along. Sorry, that took me a while. <laughs> we have oil. Open Pathways. Magical Anointing Oil. And I don't, you probably can't see the goodies because it's all dark, but um, it's probably rosemary in there. Mmm. Let's put it on. Oh, God. So I'm a goofball. I was doing my, my new moon ritual slash spell last night <laughs> and one of my oils that I was using had like one of those little stopper things where you can just get a drip and then one was a um witch's moon oil and it was just straight open and I like went to go pour it thinking I could just do a couple drops and I poured like a whole bunch <laughs> it, it was kind of a mess but you know what we were just super anointing our situation so there you go all right, so, um, so I forgot to say the rosemary 
um, grimoire. It says, we've partnered with a very talented local artist to create an exclusive piece of artwork to honor Rosemary. Add this to your book of shadows, blur to blur, and it is A.E. Alden is the person. So then we have our Open Pathways Magical Anointing Oil. We've created the created this magical anointing oil with the intention of calming your mind, relaxing your senses, and revitalizing your intuition. As you anoint your skin or magical tools, verbally express your specific intentions for doing so. This practice will prove to enhance the opportunity for real manifestation to occur. We've enchanted this magical oil with spearmint, rosemary, sandalwood oils, and have included spearmint and rosemary herbs as well. Inside your oil, you will find a Lumerian quartz said to personify oneness within your aura. We have also included a special mixture of our Psychic Sight Magical Oil from our personal cabinet of witchery into the mixture of this oil. Uh, base of sunflower oil. All right, and then we had our Angelite Stone, an absolute positive and supportive stone. Angelite is truly a special companion to associate with our journey. Angelite is known for its wonderful ability to bring peace and calm to any energetic situation, as well as nurturing intuition and psychic sight. Carry the stone with you throughout your day or place within your sacred space. And then we have our Angelite um, Book of Shadows page, written and illustrated by A.E. Alden. This beautiful Angelite reference artwork holds wonderful information regarding the magical properties and importance of this powerful stone. Place in your Book of Shadows, blah, 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 blah. Okay, then we've got... Um, there it is. Come here. We've got some open doors. Um, open doors incense sticks. Let me put something here so I can read this. These wonderfully fragrant ritual incense sticks were placed within within this collection to open your senses and intuition so that you may receive implications of new opportunities for growth. And we're going to light this because my other incense is done. Oh, I hear my boyfriend coming up the stairs. He's going to walk in on my video. He will not get on camera. But whatever. Here he comes. There he is. Oh, <laughs> we're filming. <laughs> He just pumped into my lights. <laughs> okay, so there's our incense. And then we have a candle. Awakening mini spell candle. We have hand rolled this awakening mini spell candle with the intention of providing you with a silent and still time to awaken your intuition before any spiritual or energetic work. As you allow the flame to dance before you, take the time to visualize your aura expanding and vibrating. So we have this uh, small yellow beeswax candle. I'm not sure if it smells like anything. It smells good. I don't know if they meant for it to. All right. And then we have a Palo Santo. And it says Hollywood Palo Santo. Also, oh, also known as Hollywood, is our absolute favorite energy to bring forth before and after ritual work, as well as clearing your space. Palo Santo is known for bringing therapeutic healing power. The beautiful aroma of the burning Palo Santo tree invokes protection and infuses blessings into your space and aura. As you light your Palo Santo and let it burn for 30 seconds, recite out loud. I ask that the holy wood at the Palo Santo infuse the space with blessing and purity. It smells good. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put this with the rest of my, well, we'll put it up there in a minute. Then last but not least, we have Divine Doors. Behind every door lies adventure, mystery, and inspiration. And let's find where that is. Oh, there it is. Divine Doors Inspiration Deck. We are thrilled to have the opportunity to include the Divine Doors Inspiration Deck within this collection of items. Created by, oh my gosh, I'm not going to be able to. Created by Andreas Ingracia. Who knows if I'm getting that right? This wonderful deck reveals answers to your deepest reflections and inspired musings. With photography of unique doors from across the globe, you will discover 
a new way to see the world, tap into your intuitive spirit and unlock the creative force within. The messages that are found on these cards hold a poetic wisdom and are fantastic to carry with you everywhere you may travel. Oh, I'm so excited. It has, <laughs> it has a magnetic. Yay, that's my favorite. Um, closures. So that was the box. Opens it up, and then here we get the cards. And I guess on the backs, they each have like a cool um, door. So let's shuffle these up. What do we need to know today? What message should we receive? So this is our door. We have a blue door, which is one of my fave colors, but right now it's super purple. I love purple. It says, Secret Sketches. Wander and seek the familiar and friendly kind. Draw memories and sketches for others to find. Oh, huh. there you go. So there's some more of the doors. Super, so there you go guys. That is our Witch's Roots for May 2021. What do you guys think? I would love if you drop me a comment below. What is your favorite item? Well, I guess it's the, the little door thing. <laughs> the door cards. <laughs> is mine. Um, and if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, guys, that really helps me out. And if you're not a current subscriber, I would love if you would hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss anything. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. I appreciate y'all and you guys have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye.